a given differential equation in this form is called a linear standard form of ordinary differential equation when giving a question before you apply integrating factor make sure the given equation is in the form of linear standard form if not rearrange the equation before you start solving an example will make this given statement clear solve this differential equation in all cases x must be greater than zero step number one check if the given question is in the linear standard form you see we need to rearrange the given question to be in this order look at this question y is here but y supposed to be on the other side hence i will move the y on the other side with a negative the next thing we need to consider is x need to leave because in the standard form the y the x is alone to eliminate the x we are going to divide all through with x step number two compare the rearranged equation with the standard form comparing both this is the y this is the y so it's the same now this is y this is y is the same you can see that our px is minus 3 over x and if you compare our qx is x this is here and also it is here so you just compare to this and with this you compare now that you have done your comparison we now go to step number three step number three apply the integrating factor the integrating factor formula is exponential integral of p of x with respect to dx this is the formula however our p of x has a value which is minus 3 over x hence i will replace p of x with the value before you integrate take this minus 3 out of the integral hence you can now integrate if we integrate we are going to have exponential minus 3 in x the plus c for an integrating factor is always zero hence you don't include it before i continue i want you to remember that exponential a in b is equal to exponential in b to the power of a that is if i have exponential 2 in x is going to be exponential in x square similarly if i have exponential minus 3 in x it's going to give me exponential in x to the power of minus 3 based on that mathematical law i have this also i want you to remember that exponential in x is the same thing as i can write it like this and it's the same thing as x that is exponential in 2 is the same thing as 2 with this in mind here my answer is going to be x to the power of minus 3 hence my integrating factor becomes 1 over x to the power of 3 next is step number four multiply this integrating factor to both sides of the given question not just the given question but the rearrange standard form next expand this bracket by using this to multiply this and this to multiply this this we cancel this now this is the challenging area of integrating factor method 
we are going to walk backwards to get the question that gave us this. Take this left hand side of this equation to be a result of a product function. And we want to get the question that gave us this result. How do we do this? Let's just consider only this. Let's assume that this was kept constant and we differentiated a function to give us the y dx. And that function is going to be y. Hence, it's going to be this and y that gave us everything here. Hence, it's going to be 1 over x to the power of 3 y. This is the function and we have this. This is now what we have. We actually differentiated this to really give us all this. Let's prove it. I will take just only this and solve it. Let's try to differentiate this. I can rewrite this as this. Now, let's apply product rule. I will keep this constant. I will differentiate y is the y the x plus i will now keep y constant i will now differentiate the i will have minus 3x to the power of minus 4. if you now solve this you're going to have that 1 over x to the power of 3 dy over dx this will become a minus this becomes y and this is 3 and this becomes x to the power of 4. If you look at this very well, that is just exactly what we have here. So that means this is the same thing as this. Step number five, integrate. If we now integrate both sides with respect to x, we have step number six, make y the subject this becomes the solution of the differential equation and also our final answer i will see you in the next video